Thank you, Cahirlock, and, and thank you, Minister. And it's, it's good to have you in. Um, I, I'll, I'll ask you a few questions at the end, but I would have great concerns um, about particular issues that you've raised there. And when you speak about rent pressure zones, it worries me that Carlo, who has two of the best third level colleges in the country, with a lot of houses and students, I have been told on numerous occasions, and I, I am absolutely weary asking you, why are we not in the rent pressure zones? So I think, Minister, I, I'll come back to you on that, but I, I just have massive concerns. That's one of the biggest issues. It now costs more to service a rental bill in this country than it does to service a mortgage. This situation, we are allowing massive portions of take-home pay to be devoured by skyrocketing rents, cannot continue, or it will cost so much more in the future. I read in the Times this morning that while a number of landlords in Ireland have increased by almost uh, 350 in the past year, despite the warnings of, because of new regulations, a lot of landlords are still not going to go back in because they're afraid of buying houses because of regulations, so we have to be so careful on that. The newspapers quoted the Residential Tenancy Board figures, which also revealed an average uh, monthly rent of 1,366 in January this year. The same article quoted DAF.ie showing that there was only 2,700 homes available to rent on May the 1st, the lowest figure recorded in 13 years, Minister. That's 13 years. There are massive issues in the rental sector and we need our legislation to respond to those issues. Fianna Fáil supports legislation which draws on the bills of Fianna Fáil we have uh, published ourselves to strengthen the RTB board to hold landlords to account, expand the rent pressure zones designated period for another three years, particularly uh, where student accommodation is, and that's so important. It's not enough. This bill does not go far enough at all. I have massive concerns. Much more needs to be done to get grips on the rent crisis. We simply need to move to a system of building more homes. And, uh, just even going back to our local authority and, and we're talking about rent pressure zones here and we're talking about all the different, whatever agency, the RTB boards, unless we have supply, it doesn't matter how much le legislation we bring in, it's not going to work. And I know we have to try this on the short term, but we need to do it. Allowing long, long lease rental systems, we need to support landlords, but we need to support the tenants. We seem to be borrowing pieces from every other country's rental system, but we have our own here and we need to make sure that we find solutions in our own country. I welcome the moves to apply the rent pressure zone regulations to student accommodation and plans to roll out the rent transparency. And you need to just, like I see that you're doing this in Dublin and other areas, but you need to confirm with my own area, Minister, where I have massive concerns. However, much more is needed if the national scandal of homelessness is to be addressed. We need additional investment in a coast rental system that will offer accommodation to ordinary income workers who fall above the threshold for social housing but are crippled by spiralling rents. Further practical steps like a national rent deposit scheme, local authority quality certificate for accommodation and an incentive for above shop accommodations are also required. And I think that's so important when you have shops now in, in our towns and villages and up over them um, we have all these vacant units that could be uh, put into rent but again the incentive wasn't there, the proper scheme wasn't put in place and landlord didn't take up on it. Dublin remains the most expensive place to rent with average monthly costs now at 1,620, representing an increase of 141 from the same period last year. According to DAF.ie, Dublin rent levels are now 36% higher than it was in the last boom over 10 years ago, according to this report. Rent pressure zones have not been, affected because, have not been effective because the underlying problem of lack of supply remains and because these zones were self-policed, it was unrealistic to expect tenants to argue with a landlord over prices they were quoted. We need a radical overhaul and I welcome this bill as it helps to strengthen the tenancies rights by empowering the RTB board and making rent levels more transparent. However, supply again is the key and addressing this is the only way forward. We cannot operate on a catch-up basis. Our rental sector is relatively young and we are learning as we go, but we need to step up the pace. This bill by itself will not solve the rental crisis. Ultimately, boosting supply is critical to meet the growing demand, particularly in our crisis housing crisis, but also across the country. Budget 2019 was, a, was not a landlord's budget. A rental market needs landlords if it is to work. It, it does incentivise landlords to stay in the system. Some 40,000 landlords left the system from 2012 to 2018, including 4,000 in the past 12 months. We need to keep these in the system or else there will be fewer units available to rent and rents will rise. 
or mortgage interest relief is targeted at small landlords with two or less units to keep them in the system. We need additional tax measures such as local property tax relief and commercial rate relief for above the shop accommodation in order to keep them in the system. Minister, you need to, incent you need to give some incentive here and it's not happening. The government has been playing around with a, a cost pilot project since 2015 but hasn't put a single brick in place yet. This needs to be escalated and expanded to allow ordinary income workers uh, access quality and affordable accommodation. A national deposit scheme would help avoid deposits with landlords while a quality accommodation search would boost quality of the rental stock. I, I am happy to support some of this bill. I believe more needs to be done. Um, but there's just so many questions out there. Why are some areas in rent pressure zones and others are not? Who made the, I've, I've said this several times. Why are some counties qualifying when neighbours across a line and a road, one is in and one is not? With the RTB board, for example, like you're ringing the RTB board, and I have to say they've been very helpful, but we need to give them more powers. How many staff have you given? Like, who is going to enforce it? Like, I always believe when bills come in, enforcement is so... You know, you need to make sure, but like, it has always been the same. If you're six months, if you're over three or four years um, in a rented accommodation, you always were entitled to six to seven months. You had to be given notice, and it couldn't be given on a normal piece of paper. It actually had to be through a solicitor or through the courts. That has always been part of it, but it has never been enforced. So we actually now need to start enforcing more issues for the tenants. Look, we've got good tenants, we've got good landlords, but if we don't solve our housing crisis, and Minister, we have a massive housing crisis, and I do understand that you are trying your best to try and solve some of it. But if you do not put rent pressure zones in every local authority, if you do not give more staffing to RTB boards, I feel this will fail. But I also feel one of the biggest issues that you're not addressing, and I've said this on several occasions, local authorities need more power. And I think they have been every... I firmly believe that most local authorities now have no power anymore. You need to give them the, the power like, to make sure that there's enough staff to go out and check these accommodation. There isn't. No matter, like, unless you actually put more money into it, unless you're able to come back with figures in six months' time and say, the 31 local authorities have done so many houses, inspection on houses and whatever, but that's not happening. And the reason it's not happening is, and in fairness to the local authorities, they're doing their best. You need to step in here, Minister, and we can bring in all the rules and regulations we like, but unless you sort out the rent pressure zones in every local authority, you give more powers to the RTB board and enforce them and make sure that the tenants and the landlord enforce them and local authorities play a bigger part in this, I think we have an issue here. But look, overall, Minister, I don't want to be negative. I feel that there is good parts of this bill. We in Fianna Fáil will be bringing in some amendments tomorrow. We have some amendments that we will be bringing in that I will be trying to see will you support tomorrow. But thank you uh, for being here, Minister.